I am so ready for fall knits. I am tired of the melt your face off heat. I, mm -hmm, give me the fall. <laughs> so without further ado, these are the top four things that I plan on making in the fall or for the fall for the cold weather. <laughs> And in no particular order, let's get started. So first up, I have the Stripe Pipe Sweater from Veronica Lindbergh. Now, if you don't already follow Kika on Instagram or YouTube, you are seriously missing out. She went viral last year for knitting her own wedding dress in six weeks. She's amazing. I love everything she does, and I plan on making all the things. Um, but first is this her stripe pipe sweater that came out recently. It's great for stash busting because it's stripes. Um, it is a DK weight and I have DK weight in my stash and, or you can use um, fingering weight held double. But what I'm going to use is the North DK from Expression Fiber Arts. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. I'm obsessed with all things Expression Fiber Arts, all the pattern, all the yarns. Now, if you're not familiar, all their yarns are hand dyed and they're just like the softest things ever. So for the main color on my stripe pipe sweater, I'm thinking this. It's a dark gray in there. It's, um, extra fine merino wool and pima cotton so all the colors have this barber stripe pole effect as of this recording this yarn is not currently available it's kind of like a seasonal thing the dog is coming to say hi <laughs> now <laughs> i have some yarns left over from a couple other projects and this is one of the colors kind of like a raspberry and Oi. <laughs> excuse you ma'am I think together they would just be gorgeous and I have others too you are in the way ma'am yes you are hi yeah you're so pretty yes you are you're so pretty here want your rope <laughs> okay. So I have another one that's like barn red. There's a black. I think they're in this bucket up here, but I only grabbed the one. So with the main color, one of the stripes, it's going to look gorgeous. Okay. Next up is Expression Fiber Arts. Are you really surprised? This one is called the Melva Rosa. It's a long sleeve sweatshirt that has some optional embroidery that you can do across the yoke. And I'm totally gonna do that. Um, this one is also a DK weight. It uses their Dewey DK, which is a mix of superwash merino wool, nylon, and silk. So it's really soft. And because of the nylon, it's got some more, some bounce back in there. Um, I picked the color evergreen. So that, you know, reminds me of trees, mountains, misty mountains. If you want to be an elf or a hobbit, this wouldn't be a miss. Um, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. Um, it's a cropped sweater, but I might make it longer. I don't know. We'll see. And it has buff, puffy bishop sleeves, which it's going to be stunning. And yeah, I've decided I'm going to do the optional flower embroidery across the yoke. And I love this color for sweaters, for all things. Give me green. Give me all the green and I will love it. Okay. Next is another Expression Fiber Arts. 
This one is the Mina Capelet and it's a bulky weight, so it's going to work up super fast. Uh, this one uses their Buttery Bulky, which is 100% uh, super, Superwash Merino wool. I know there's feelings about Superwash in the knitting and crochet world, and I honestly don't have an opinion. Make with whatever the crap you want. Uh, so this is the Buttery Bulky. I picked the colorway All About Autumn. Now I know with hand dyed yarns, you have to be careful that you don't get accidental color pooling and you should alternate every two or three rows with different skeins. Like you have this one, pretend these are the same. Okay, so you do two rows of this skein and two rows of this skein, two rows of this one, two rows of this one, so that way you don't color pool. I honestly don't care. <laughs> uh, this since this one is already a variegated yarn it's not going to matter to me now the cool thing about this capelet yes it comes down to about elbow length um but it also has a hood need i say more it's going to be so awesome uh i'm excited to work on this one. I might do this one first because it will get done the fastest because it's bulky weight. And then next, I don't know, stripe height because stripes. Yeah. Okay. Now this last one comes from Lion Brand. I purchased this one as a kit. So I'm hoping that I have enough yarn um i might i probably will i usually tend to be right on gauge even without trying which i guess that's my soup knitting superpower <laughs> anyway um this one is called the loomy sweater it's three quarter length sleeves and it has a uh, lace in the yoke um kind of like arrows do, 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 do. so that's going to be super cute and it uses the feels like butter. Now this one is polyester, I believe. Yeah, polyester. Um, again, I know there's feelings about using, which one? Like non man-made yarns. I don't care. I really don't. I've got it polyester i've got a whole bunch of acrylic yes my more expensive yarns are not that but i really don't care use what you want um this one is in the colorway rainy day so it's a kind of a creamy off-white it's actually really soft and this one is worsted weight um so if we go in order of which ones will work up the fastest, um, I think this one, so the capelet, um, then maybe the stripes, the Melva Rosa with the embroidered flowers across the top, across the yoke, and then the one with the lace work on it last. Or, I don't know, there's really no order in the way there's no that's not what I'm saying there's really no specific order that I want to make these in just this one's first because it'll get done the fastest and I'll have that happiness of finishing a project and then I won't be able to stop myself and then we'll get another one and another one and another one and whee! I'm excited okay I love making things. I like the process. Um, there's things that I've made that I really enjoyed making it, but I don't actually wear the thing. Pretty sure that happens to everybody, right? But I know these ones I'll actually wear because I love sweaters and this capelet thing is going to be freaking adorable because it has a hood. Now, if you are planning on any fall makes 
I suggest you get those sorted out now and starting them so you can actually wear them when it's cold outside. That's all. Um, I am not a seasonal knitter. I don't wait until it's cold to start my sweaters, as you can tell, because it's still melt your face off hot because it's still August. And if it's for Christmas, I don't wait until December 1st to make it for Christmas. I want to actually enjoy it for Christmas and wear it throughout the entire Christmas season. So I make it now. Anyway, make your fall things now. Oh, wait. There we go. So actually, you know what? Let's put it to a vote. Put it to a vote. Capelet. The what are we going to call this? Malva Rosa. This is the one with the optional embroidery across the yoke. So embroidered one. Stripes or lace. Which one do I make first? Give me a vote. Put it down in the comments. Which one would you do move first? What? No. Which one would you make first? That's what I'm trying to say. I think the dog's taking a nap now. She's very excited about this. Can you tell? Anyway, happy making. Let's get ready for fall.